Hi Pisces, don't you just love it that I sometimes don't have a clue what I'm going to say? You know, I've, I've, as an astrologer, I've always been of a mind that I don't want to know too much about what I'm reading until I actually look at the chart like, like right now. I do have a general idea now, because of course I'm reading for the other signs, and poor old Pisces is usually last, last cab off the rank. We do know that this month four planets tenant your third sector of Taurus. And um, on the second of this month, Mercury moved into this conjunction with three other planets, Mars, Sun and Venus. So communication should be really spotlighted for you this month. <coughs> third house has a lot to do with journeying. Um, and so that can indicate a lot of communications associated with travels, uh, meeting people, and uh, being in the sign of Taurus, this can be for practical purposes or even for business. But what this does is it heralds a very important um, eclipse that's going to take place there on the 10th. So starting on the 2nd, and right now we're around the 7th. I know I'm a little bit late. You can here wrap me on the knuckles. Uh, I'm just sort of doing a fast forward uh, in the first part of the month. Here we see your uh, powerful communications um, sector being activated on the 6th. That's today by Mars. And leading up to this date, not exactly on the date, but this is when what we say the aspect is perfected to Pluto in the 11th house, Mercury also in the Sun. So a lot of energy there uh, from this third house, communication with friends, <coughs> elder siblings, the 11th house is elder siblings, and also communication, believe it or not, not with a person as such or people as such, 11th house is one's dreams and ideology. So a lot of intellectual energy going towards what it is you want in life right now. With Pluto there, the transformative planet in the 11th house, it's showing that you are revitalizing yourself and ready to do something really, really important and to not let anything hold you back. That eclipse that takes place on the 10th, I believe, is going to be uh, extraordinary for you. The third house shows a lot of courage, uh, and that's something I often forget to say to people. This month, that third house, which is called the, the sector of valor, courageousness, that courage to go for your dreams and to move forward. To do things that you thought before you couldn't do, you'll be able to do that now. At the moment that eclipse takes place, it's going to unleash an immense amount of energy. Uh, but you need to know how to harness that and direct it in the best possible way. Mercury moves to the fourth house on the 16th of May, but not until the eighth rule of Venus moves into a, a right angle with, with Neptune. That's your ruling planet on the fourth. And there could be some lovers' quarrels at that time. Uh, difficulties there over money. <coughs> and that's also a sexual planet for you. So you need to uh, be clear in, in expressing how you feel and not sort of hold back for fear of hurting another person's feelings. Once you get that out of the road, Mercury move to your fourth house. There could be some differences of opinion also in terms of where your partner or your business partner wants to live or run the business. So communications issues are going to be uh, felt in all of those sort of areas for you. Mercury again does a right angle to Neptune straight after the straight after the Venus square Neptune on the 18th. So you can expect the 12th to the 18th to be somewhat challenging for you at this time. Sun moves to your fourth house as well. A lot of focus there on your <coughs> domestic sphere, your living circumstances, building, renovation, housing, painting, uh, home away from home type stuff. Uh, so I see that area of your life being important. Maternal figures will also feature strongly at this time. So if you've got stuff to deal with with your mother and your past and other relatives, people intruding in your family, now's the time to do that. The very strong, positive planet, the moon, also sees an eclipse there taking place in the sign of Sagittarius. They're in your 10th uh, zone of career. So after the 25th, that's a time when your emotional energies for your work, your appetite for work again is activated, and some good things occur there, particularly with Mercury, Venus, in the conjunction with Jupiter, the lucky planet, opportunities in that area, and the final transits of the month we see here, uh, Mercury transiting to the fifth house of love affairs, Mars to the fourth house. Some arguments at that time, but you're going to offset that with some really nice amorous pursuits, a few little dalliances here and there for those of you that are single. Look forward to your company next month. Oh, by the way, that's on the 31st. Look forward to your company next month. Uh, but in the meantime, astrology.com.au is the website. The website. That's called advertising. 
Um, but it's all free there if you want. You don't have to pay any money. Daily, monthly, and yearly horoscopes in focus for you, Pisces, and for your friends and family. Free psychic readings, and also our range of practitioners if you dare to venture and pay a little bit for something a little bit more detailed. Look forward to your company next month. Take care now. Bye-bye.